Welcome to this Saracosa tutorial on using the library database. If you've ever searched for articles on the open web, you may come across a paywall like this one, where you are asked to log in to an account or pay money before you can read or download the article. Fortunately for you, the Saracosa Library subscribes to over 30 databases, which means that you can access millions of journal articles for free. It's already included in your tuition. You can see our list of databases using the navigation bar on the library webpage. From here, we have several types of databases. One thing to keep in mind is that different databases have different collections. So if you can't find something in one database, try a different one. The online reference shelf includes encyclopedia and dictionary databases, which are good if you want a general overview of a topic. Our list also includes both multi-subject and subject-specific databases. As you might expect, multi-subject databases subscribe to a variety of different journals, magazines, and newspapers on a broad range of topics. Subject-specific databases focus on a specific subject, such as business or history. Let's take a look at Academic Search Complete, our largest and most popular database, with access to over 8,000 journals that cover a wide range of topics. You'll have the most success in searching a database when you boil your paper topic down to only a few keywords. For now, I just want to see what the database has on Othello, so I'll type the name into the search bar and click Search. On the results page, you can further refine your results using the options on the sidebar. Clicking the full text limiter removes all of the results that only feature a citation or an abstract. This is useful if you only want to see articles that you can access immediately. If you're writing a college paper, you probably want to use scholarly peer-reviewed journals articles. Peer review just means that other experts in the field have examined the article beforehand to be sure there aren't any glaring errors. You may also want to use the publication date limiter depending on the subject you're writing about. Shakespeare hasn't changed very much, but if you're writing on a topic that does change frequently, such as technology, science, or medicine, you'll want to limit your search to make sure you're only seeing the most current information, no more than 5 to 10 years old. As you look through your search results, check out the subjects that have been applied to them. Write down any terms that seem like they might be good keywords, so you can try additional searches later. You can also limit your search by these subjects using the Subject Thesaurus Term Limiter on the sidebar. This will help you weed out any articles that aren't related to your topic, but might incidentally use the same words in their title or description. Once you see an article that you're interested in, you can either jump straight to the full text by clicking on the PDF or HTML full text icons, or you can click the title for more information. From here, we can see details about the article, including its subject terms, which we can click on to start an entirely new search. You should also read the abstract to make sure this article is really relevant to your topic. It can save you a lot of time right up front. If HTML full text is available, it will also appear in this record, along with audio tools if you'd rather listen to it instead. You can even choose an accent if you want. But if we go up and click on the PDF full text, we can see the article with all of its original formatting, including page numbers and any images that might be present. You can also easily download this PDF for offline viewing, and it'll preserve that formatting. You should check out the tools on the right sidebar as well. The Cite tool is handy because it automatically generates citations in APA, MLA, and a variety of other formats. Be careful though, these citations are not always accurate, particularly when it comes to capitalization. If you need to link to the article, look for the permalink or the stable URL. The URL at the top of your browser is only valid for your current session and will no longer work once you close the web page. Don't forget to check out the advanced search options. This lets you search multiple fields at once, such as title, subject, and author. You can also specify the date, publication type, and more from this page before you run a search. As you search through different databases, you'll find that over half of them are powered by EBSCOhost. This is handy not only because they use the same format and features, but also because you can use the Choose Databases option above the search bar to search all of our EBSCO databases at once, including the majority of our ebook collection. Keep in mind, however, that this feature does not include some of our other great databases, such as Films on Demand, any of our Gale databases, JSTOR, or Nexus Uni, so be sure to check those out as well. 
For example, if you're writing an English essay, you'll definitely want to check out the Gale Literature Database. It's subject-specific, which means it's full of critical essays and literary analyses. Our video database, Films on Demand, has thousands of documentaries, performances, movies, and historical films. These titles change frequently, so there's always something new to watch. When you watch a video, you can also follow along with the transcript, jump to a segment, or cite and embed videos and film clips. If you're using the video for your research, these are especially handy tools. Although different databases feature different layout, many of them will have the same tools. Play around with filters and search terms in each one and see what you can come up with. If you have any questions or need help finding database articles, please don't hesitate to contact a librarian. We're available by email, Zoom, phone, and chat, and we look forward to helping you find resources for your assignments.